Okay, so here we're going to do a quick video about integrals of vector valued functions. So if we've got a vector valued function r of t, which is x of t, y of t, z of t, and you could really take this to be as many um, components as you want, um, it easily generalizes. So we define this integral from a to b of this vector valued function r to be this new vector whose components are the integrals from a to b of the component functions. So we've got integral a to b of x dt, y dt, and ztd. And we have an FTC for vector valued functions and this happens to be equal to capital R of b minus capital R of a where the derivative of this vector valued function capital R is little r. So that's really all there is to it. So I'm not going to prove any of these but I will do a nice example. So let's look at this. So we've got the integral from 0 to 1 of the vec vector valued function 4i plus 2j over 1 plus t squared. So let's rewrite this in terms of this setup. So here we have r of t equals, so let's see, it is going to be 4 over 1 plus t squared because that's what's happening in the ith component. Notice this denominator is really just a scalar, so that's associated with, with each component of this vector valued function. And then the second component is 2t over 1 plus t squared. And then that's it. So there may be a third component, which is zero, but in this setup, it looks like we just have two components, so it's in two dimensions. <clears throat> Great. So now if we take the integral from zero to one of r of t dt, that's going to be the vector given by, that's going to be the integral from zero to one of four over one plus t squared dt, comma, the integral from zero to one of 2t over 1 plus t squared dt. Okay, so we've got two fairly simple integrals to do. So this first one, we can take the antiderivative. The antiderivative of 1 over t squared is the inverse tangent. So this gives us 4 times the arctan of x. We're evaluating that from 0 to 1. Now this next one is maybe a little bit more tricky, but what we'll notice is if we take a u substitution, u equals t squared, that makes du equal to 2t. So notice our du term is in the numerator, and then our denominator is 1 plus u. So let's see, that's going to change this integral to the integral of 1 over 1 plus u du. And now let's see what happens to the bounds of integration. So notice when t equals 0, u is also 0. And when t is 1, u is also 1. So that's nice and simple. So we can take the antiderivative of that. That's pretty easy. That's going to give us natural log of 1 plus u evaluated from 0 to 1. And now notice we don't have to worry about an absolute value because everything we're plugging in will give us a positive argument of the natural log. Great. So now let's plug in some values. So the inverse tangent of 1 is pi over 4. So a 45 degree angle will make sine equal to cosine. That's how you can remember that. So 4 times pi over 4 is pi. The inverse tangent of 0 is 0. Um, and then next, the natural log of 1 plus 1 is the natural log of 2. So we have ln of 2. And then the natural log of 1 is 0. Um, so we get, in the end, pi plus the natural log of 2. And that's our final answer. Okay, so that's the end of this video.